Hello guys, welcome back to AC1 Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for AC1 Engineering videos. Today our lecture is about the column design in which we are going to find out the allowable load for the column. The pin ended column is given to us where the both ends of the column are pin and the length of the column is 3 meter and the cross section of the column which is a rectangular column the A and B are given to us the A dimension is 50 millimeter and the B is 100 millimeter and this is a steel column so the elasticity of the material is given to us which is 200 gigapascal and the factor of safety is 2 it means that we have to consider the factor of safety of 2 and we have to find out the allowable load for this column that how much load can take this column if we are given with a factor of safety of 2 so for this column for this problem first we have to find the p critical p critical means is the load at which the column will start to buckle so first we have to find the p critical so when we found out the p critical then we can able to find out the p allowable for this column so p critical means the load after which the column will start to buckle so this is the p ultimate or p critical is the ultimate load for this column so how to find out this p critical we, we know that the p critical for, for the column from the other formula it is equal to pi square e i divided by l a this is the other formula for the critical load of the column so where is the pi is the constant e is the elasticity of the material which is 200 gigapascal is given to us i is the moment of inertia and l e is the effective length for the pin ended column the l e is equal to the l and it means that they both are the same so l e is also given to us which is the 3 meter in case of the pin ended column it is equal to the the factor length of the column is equal to the original length of the column while the i moment of energy is unknown to us here in this case we have two direction a and b so our moment of inertia will vary so now to find out the moment of inertia first I y if I consider that this is the x axis this is the x axis of the column and let's suppose these are the and the b direction we have y axis along the a we have x axis along the b we have y axis so i moment of inertia along the y will be equal to the a cube into b divided by 12 because we want to find the moment of inertia along y so around y means around y means that we have to take the cube of a so a cube b divided by 12 by plugging the value a is equal to 50 so 50 cube multiplying with 100 divided by 12 so we get 10 4 1 6 6 6 millimeter raised to the power of 4 but this is in millimeter so to find out in meter we divide it by thousand is one meter is equal to the thousand millimeter so we get 1.04 multiplied by 10 to the power minus 6 meter power 4 now this is in the meter unit similarly the moment of inertia along the y along the x axis it will be the a b cube divided by 12 and it will be 50 into 100 cube divided by 12 after f calculating we get value of 4166 millimeter power of 4 by converting into millimeter 4 so we get 4.16 multiplied by 10 raised to the power minus 6 meter raised to the power 4 so this is the ix and iy so accordingly we have to find out the p critical along the x and along the y and we have to take the minimum one so to be on the safe side so p critical along the y will be equal to the pi square e i e divided into i y divided by the l e square sorry this is the l e square this is not only the effective length but the l e square so l e square 
तो पाई इज थ्री पॉइंट वन फोर स्क्वेयर ई इज टू हंड्रेड गी का पासकल सो कन्वर्टिंग इन टू दी पासकल सो वी है टू मल्टीप्लाई विद टेन टू पावर ऑफ नाइन दिस बिकम्स पासकल सो टू हंड्रेड मल्टीप्लाई बाई टेन टू पावर नाइन नाउ दिस इज न्यूटन पर मीटर स्क्वेयर इट मीन्स पासकल मल्टीप्लाइंग विद आई वाई आई वाई इज वन पॉइंट जीरो फोर मल्टीप्लाई बाई टेन एस फोर माइनस सिक्स मीटर फोर सो फ्रॉम दिस वी गेट द वैल्यू ऑफ टू टू एट जीरो नाइन सेवन न्यूटन एंड आल्सो डिवाइडिंग दिस वैल्यू बाय इल इस स्क्वायर वेर इल इस स्क्वायर इस इक्वल टू दी थ्री स्क्वायर थ्री स्क्वायर so dividing this value we get the answer of 2 to 8097 newton so in kilonewton if we divide by 1000 so in kilonewton we get 228 kilonewton similarly p critical of x it is the same like the iy But only the change in the moment of inertia divided by three square multiplied with the moment of inertia along the x is four one six so now by dividing and multiplying this value we get a value of nine one three seven zero six newton if we divide this by thousand to make it kilo newton we get nine thirteen kilo newton so now this value is greater and this is a smaller value so we should take the smaller value to be on the safe side so this is our the required value this is our desired value for the p critical so now to find the p allowable is we know that the factor of safety is equal to the p ultimate or the p critical p critical or p ultimate is the same thing dividing by p allowable so this is the ratio for the factor of safety p critical divided by the p allowable so if we bring the p allowable into the left side so it will become p allowable is equal to the p critical divided by factor of safety so we know that the p critical is 228 kN so 228 kN divided by the factor of safety which is 2 So we get the p allowable equal to 114 kilonewton. So this is the allowable load for this pen-ended column. Hope you guys understand how to find the allowable load for the column if we are only know the dimension of the column and the support condition of the column, which is very important because it affects the effective length of the column. Also. the elasticity of the material is important that it should be given to us and also the factor of safety then we can find out the p critical and after from the p critical we should take the least value of the p along the x axis which is the least one and then we should divide it by the factor of safety we can get our the allowable load for the column hope you guys understand and don't forget to subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos thank you for watching our video